Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked him on Facebook, and I can't even get back. I'm going to try to find it and send them the video. But if you hit P and put this in the center of the page, but they don't want it in the center of the page. They want it in the center of the page from up to down, but they want it here. Two ways you could do it. Let's say, and they specify they, they want it right there. So if you would bring in an indexing line and have it snap to that center, we've got to turn on our indexing lines. Don't really need those other two. We can delete them. But we can hit P and put it in the center of the page while holding down the control button, grab that four-sided X right there and have it snap to it. That is in the center of the page, up and down and where you wanted it. Now the next one, the other way, just to show in case that never worked, take two two-point lines and have it, and if you have snap to page on, you could bring that line and snap it to it. Now my page is 28 inches. I could change my nudge factor to 28 inches and I can make a duplicate of this line by hitting the plus key. So now I've got three lines or two lines in the text. I can select those two, open up. Let me close it. Go to Windows, Dockers, Align and Distribute and pick this one right here where it's between the centers. And then now that T is in the center of the plate and I didn't move it left or right, it just moved it up and down. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Uh, I can't really get into Facebook right now. I'm in Las Vegas at the show. I'm hoping um, I can figure out how to get them that information. Thank you for watching.